Arizona State is now seven and five, and as for Texas State, they are now nine and five after after beating the Sun Devils 12 to two in tonight's ball game, and it was devastating for both the hitting and the pitching for for the Sun Devils. However. For Texas State, it was all hitting and pitching, most definitely pitching, hitting sides of things. Kiara Trahan had three hits and two runs. And as for Jessica Mullins, the girl on the mound for tonight's game, she had eight strikeouts facing the Sun Devils, and she was absolutely stunning on the mound. Last game the Sun Devils played was against University of Texas El Paso. However, that game, they won 3 to nothing. This game, things weren't going their way. In just the first inning, Texas State scored three runs, and as for the pitcher, Mac Osborne for Arizona State, she pitched two innings, allowing nine hits and five runs, only having two strikeouts. She now has three wins and one loss. Sun Devils were able to add two runs onto the board later in the game, as Samantha Swan had a home run, and as for Tanya Wendell, she had two, two hits and one run, thanks to an error going on in the infield. However, this could not stop Texas State from their pitching. Jessica Mullins for Texas State pitched six innings, allowing 10 hits and two runs. However, in total, she had eight strikeouts. She now has five wins and one loss. However, Madison Azua for Texas State was able to close the game out as she only pitched one at bat. However, she was able to get the out to make Texas State win. Overall, it was a bad day for the Sun Devils. However, they look to turn things around tomorrow as they face Texas State yet again. Coach Bartlett hopes to turn things around as well, not only just at the plate, but also at the field. Sun Devils are now 7-5, and five, and as for Texas State, they are now 9-5. and five. Sun Devils with the loss tonight, 12-2. They look to get it back and, and get their win again back in the column. Tyler Wilger from Inferno Intel, signing off.